Hey, how's it going? And I just wanted to do a quick follow-up to a tutorial I just did on how to determine if something is a creative prop or not. It's important to remember that you can turn things into a creative prop. It's kind of confusing because in Unreal Editor, they call it a building prop. So they don't call it a creative prop, but a building prop essentially is a creative prop. I'll show you what I mean. Let's say there's a static mesh that you have, floor or a wall or something you've built, and you want to turn it into a creative prop so that you can use something like the dispose method. So what we would do is make sure you're on the project folder right here. Mine's called My Project D. I'm just going to right click. I'm going to go to Blueprint Class. And here you'll see where it says Building Prop. Same thing as Creative Prop. So click it. It's going to come in saying New Blueprint 1. I'm going to double click into it. I'm just going to go ahead and dock this up here. And here where it says Static Mesh Component, I can import a static mesh or I can try to find one here from this drop down list. It might be easier just to get a static mesh in. But like this is a road transition right here, essentially like a, a floor. You can almost look at it as. And I go compile and save. And if I drag this into the scene, it's a section of road, right? And then let's say I wanted to I hold Alt and drag and I can duplicate this road and start making this whole section of road, right? That's essentially all one giant creative prop. Now it's called New Blueprint, but in the earlier tutorial, I made a, a creative prop detector device. And if I come here and I click, you'll see the new blueprints there. Those are all my road sections right there. So that's how you, easy you can turn what appears to be a non-creative prop or just a static mesh prop into an actual creative prop. I hope you found this helpful. Take care, have a great day, and I'll talk to you next time.